Oh no. Not the mosquitoes again. I just heard them.
This is a poem by Roberta Hill Whiteman. It's called Waiting for Robinson. You nurtured grief until that leap toward one translucent wave, wanting a greener world, a world you couldn't reach, except in those brief moments when lights on distant hills glimmered through the eucalyptus leaves. Chrome on the back fenders of your coop folded into wings, tar melted in the cracks near the front tire. With a tremor in your shoulder, you let Luminol spin you down Bridge Street in steady traffic. You passed a vestibule where under a jardinier, two drunks argued who got the tattered blanket, who the cardboard bed. Robinson, you gathered up their grief and stumbled on. There were no survivors, no shutters you could close. Dead or insane, insane or dead. Remembering how rain told the truth, you tried to tear the roof away, to stand under the sun, human and whole, beyond the fears that seized you. That July, I was eight. The neighbor lady hid behind Venetian blinds. Warm evenings, I'd wait until an eye peered from the even shade. Across the table made of dust, you taunt me now. Aloof Chimera, how I wanted you to find a green world spinning in other earth dark eyes. One hand waves from a train, another from outgoing tide. Souls cry, search for the hand no one could reach if it held a card with birth star, braided rug, blue crystal, and an easy chair. Don't believe these melancholy lines. The summer I turned 28, I heard you hitched the salt sea away from rain and eucalyptus. The glow from your cigarette danced at dusk in the desert air. You found it serene Dry there, though, not as green as you once hoped. This is a poem by Ray A. Young Bear called The Significance of a Water Animal. Since then I was the North. Since then I was the North Wind. Since then I was nobody. Since then I was alone. The color of my black eyes inside the color of Kingfisher's hunting eye weakens me, but sunlight glancing off the rocks and vegetation strengthens me. As my hands and fingertips extend and meet, they frame the serene beauty of bubbles and grain, once a summer rainfall. A certain voice of reassurance tells me a story of a water animal diving to make land available. Next, from the creator's own heart and flesh, Ukimau was made the progeny of divine leaders. And then from the red earth came the rest of us. To believe otherwise, as my grandmother tells me, or to simply be ignorant, belief and what we were given to take care of on the verge of ending.
This is a poem by Nia Francisco. It's called Roots of Bluebells. Female spider swept her legends into her palms, then gently blew on it like powder. She blew dampness of her breath felt in the southern wind. Outer roots of bluebells, watercress leaves, blossoms, and rosemary shrubs. Only the she-bear knows the mixtures, for she sun-baked them high on the mountaintop in crystal. She spider blew the powder. <laughs> into the deep, deep wounds and holocaust of USA and global pains. Then she sat on life-given, life-giving mountains while she spun webs and webs of unspoken legends into looms of Milky Way. She spun the blackness of universe as clothing for the twins. Night who is the twin of day. Who is the twin of night? <laughs>